Hello everybody, it's Mario Hernandez from Media Current and in this week's Learning Bits tutorial, I'll talk about how to create a button that is dynamic, that will allow you to use a button element or an anchor element depending on what the purpose of the element is. For example, if you want to direct visitors to another page or a section within the same page, you will most likely need an anchor tag. But if you want visitors to perform an action such as saving content or submit a form, you probably want a button. Visually, uh, links and buttons don't necessarily have to look the same or different, right? We can style them any way we want, depending on our requirement. But from a semantic point of view and accessibility also, it is important to make sure that we are rendering the right element, HTML element, so that things act and behave the way we expect them. For example, a button has many events attached to it. So if you want to use JavaScript with that, we can do that. A link mains, a link's main purpose is simply to redirect people to a different page or a different section on a page. From an accessibility point of view, obviously we want to make sure that we use the right element so that screen reader or assistive technologies can um, properly announce the content on your page or the elements on your page. So first we are going to be creating a simple button on Twig and PatternLab. And this is a button that you can use in Drupal, on your Drupal theme. And then we are going to be doing the same thing for a Gatsby site. Uh, this one is going to be a little more involved, but the concept is still the same, is which element to serve depending on the purpose of what we are trying to do. So what I've done here in my theme, this is a Drupal 8 theme, actually Drupal 9. And what I've done in my components section, and this may vary on your theme. I created a new component called BTN for button. And what I did here, as we typically do, we have a JSON file which represents the data or demo content for our component in PatternLab. And I have two keys here. One is the text and one is the URL. And these are the keys that you will most likely be getting on any platform, really. Uh, and then in Twig, uh, I've simply done uh, a conditional to check whether if we have a URL value, uh, most likely we want to print an anchor, right? A link. And then we are passing the URL value to the href attribute and assigning of class of button. And then we are printing the text variable. If there is no URL right, else, then we are going to print a button element, right? Because a button element doesn't require a URL. And as you can see here in PatternLab, we have that button rendered. If we inspect it or look at PatternLab's display info here, if we look at the HTML, we can see that we have a button component or tag. Uh, and the reason for that is because we don't have a value for the URL. So that tells us that we most likely want a button in this case. So let's go ahead and add a URL and let's say this. Once my page has reloaded in PatternLab, we can see that there's no difference. And the reason for that is that the same styles are applying to whether it's a link or a button. And, but if we look at this time and we look at the HTML, we can see that now we have a link element, an anchor element with the URL of mediacurrent.com. The class is the button, and that's the reason why the button looks the same as it did before. So this is a pretty straightforward process to do this for a Drupal theme. But at the same time, it gives you a nice way to render the proper element on your website so that you're not always ending up with a link uh, when you want a button or vice versa. So now let's take a look at how you would do this in a Gatsby site. Okay, I have created a very basic demo site, Gatsby site that is, uh, in which I've created a components directory and in there I created a button directory and inside there I have a button.js. This is where we will define the logic for our button. And so I'm importing React and Link because Link is a powerful component, uh, Gatsby component that is, that provides a lot of uh, performance advantages uh, to ensure that your site, your Gatsby site works super, super fast. That's why you'll see that Gatsby site loads super fast because it uses a Link component that allows for pages to be preloaded before you even click on them uh, so that when you click on them, the page is already preloaded and doesn't need to go and render that page from scratch. It'll automatically just display for you. 
So the logic is as follows. Uh, similar to what we did for twig, we have a button variable here and we have a couple props. Uh, one is children so that we can pass the content for the button. We have a two uh, prop here, which is something that the link, Gatsby link uses. And we have an href prop here that is what anchors use, right? So the idea is that if we have a two uh, prop like we do here, we are going to use a Gatsby link so that uh, we understand that the two means that the link will be internal to our site and therefore we want to use a Gatsby link component rather than just a regular anchor. If we have an href propped, however, right, that means we don't have a two and that means that our link will be external. It will most likely be directed to another site. And so for that case, we want to use a regular anchor tag with some keys, some attributes like the href, a target blank. And uh, for security purposes, this is a Gatsby or, uh, or React Gatsby recommendation is you use the no opener and no refer. And then we pass the content of the button, right? And if we don't have a two or an href propped, then that means we are going to be using a button, right? Because we don't have uh, anything to link to. So in that case, our button is going to allow us to do something, say content or submit a form. And that's what um, the logic is here. Uh, the difference so that we can know which one is being rendered at every time uh, is the button has the class of button. The regular anchor link, the external link will have a class of button link, external link, and is also going to obviously have this, the href attribute and these other attributes, a target blank. For the internal link, we will use the class of button link, Gatsby link, right? This will tell us when we are using which. So the button has been defined. Now let's use it on this page that we have here. This is just a basic page that is created when you create a brand new Gatsby site. So in here, I'm going to just put the button somewhere. It doesn't matter where. I'll put it right under the title and I'm going to use the button tag. This is not a HTML element, right? This is a button component since we created the component before. And before we can use it, we need to make sure that it is imported. And here we are, this button is imported from the component that we just created here. So now if we add the button, uh, let's pass, uh, first let's pass the, just the children uh, value high on my button, that should do it. If we save the page and the page reloads, we can see that we have a button display on the page. We don't have a style, but that's not really important right now. If I inspect the code, we can see that we in fact have a button with the class of button. All right, so that is working. Let's change it. And now let's let's add a an href prompt here, an href attribute that is. And we're just gonna link it to the same page. And when I save this, you should see that now uh, the button changed to just a link. If I inspect the code, we can see that here is our link, uh, just a regular anchor with the class of button dash dash link, external link, and the href, right? And I noticed that how the target is also set to blank and it's got the rel attribute as well. So if we were to click here, we can see that this in fact opens in a separate page, separate tab that is, right? So that is telling us that we are using the right anchor element, right? Now let's try it with a two prop here or attribute. And what this should give us is the, uh, on the code itself, it's not going to show any different as far as the anchor, but what this will do is that it will tell us that we are using now a Gatsby link component. So I'm going to save this, the page reload. Obviously there's no difference, but if I inspect the code, we can see that now we have the anchor again, uh, but this time we have the class of Gatsby link and the href is uh, the same page. Uh, so the two 
prop that we pass uh, translate to the href once it's rendered. Right? But that's it. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you understand the power of especially Gatsby link and how that can improve drastically improve your website's performance. Thank you for your time. Uh, see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you.